Good morning, Britain. Breaking news. Riots in Leeds as a bus is set on fire, a police car is flipped over as hundreds take to the streets. Officers from neighbouring forces are called in to help as the Home Secretary condemns these shocking scenes and attacks. Police are urging people to stay away as they investigate how and why this riot broke out. And Trump comes out fighting as he delivers his first speech since surviving an assassination attempt. His supporters show solidarity with their leader by wearing fake ear bandages. I'm not supposed to be here tonight. Not supposed to be here. Here now the celebrations only ended a short time ago after what was the longest ever convention speech in modern history. Donald Trump's family, who is still on stage taking photographs, along with the Republicans, all united behind him. Meanwhile, Joe Biden is grappling with his own future as he faces pressure to stand down from his election campaign. Also on the programme, record jail terms for five climate change protesters who blocked the M25 motorway. We're joined by a Just Stop Oil supporter who says long prison sentences are unfair and ridiculous. Plus, term time holidays are a no-brainer, says one mum, who saved thousands of pounds on a trip to Egypt. But should parents be penalised for disrupting their children's education? Sunshine and 31 degrees today, but it won't last into the weekend. Heavy showers and thunderstorms and then turning cooler. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 19th of July, 2024. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Charlotte Hawkins and Robert Rinder. Hello there, a very good morning to you. Welcome to the programme. It's lovely to yeah. have you here, Rob. I'd like to be here alongside you as ever. Oh, Charlotte. and you know, it's, it's the last day of the term for many children mm -hmm. up and down the country right now who will no doubt be celebrating at the prospect of some sunshine when they finish school later. But I think yeah. we'll be making the most of it because it seems like we've got one afternoon left I mean, of yeah. sunshine. Delighted <laughs> when it comes, I think. Anyway. <laughs> Make the most of it. But yeah. do get in touch and let us know your thoughts about the debate that we've got this morning about whether parents should be penalised for taking yeah. their children out of school during term time. It's always that no. tricky one. We've got one parent that did because it saved right. them a lot of money on their holidays. Yeah, and I have strong views about the uh, travel companies themselves, you know, and gouging poor parents. But, you know, do I'm call in and let us know what you think. Sometimes they're 40% more expensive. 40%? I mean, how is that defensible? It's so much money, isn't it? Yeah. We'll get in touch with your views yeah. this morning. But uh, the main mm. news that we've got for you is breaking news that's been happening overnight. <laughs>